Welcome back to our Vax Facts for Kids Town Hall. I want to turn back to our parents here on Zoom. Again, this is a mix of vaccinated and unvaccinated individuals here to listen to our healthcare professionals about the COVID-19 vaccine. Um, you've been listening in. Has any of the information changed your mind? If it has changed your mind, you, could you raise your hand? Okay. Um, now I do want to talk to Brian Almero. Brian, I think you're representative of many parents. You told me you're on the fence. Could you sort of um, tell me what you thought of the information you heard here today? Well, the information given by the two professionals was uh, very helpful. Uh, but as it stands, I think I will still be in the fence because this vaccine for children under 12 is really so new to where uh, it's kind of like the same thing for me and my wife when we waited to get our vaccine. It's just really finding out more information about it, uh, getting experiences from other parents, because uh, it, it's it's really a risk. I mean, anything is a risk, but uh, but for my for our children, I mean, it's it's, it's much more important that uh, we make sure that they're safe. So I mean, my stance is still going to be in defense and really wait a few months, maybe. I mean, it all depends on how much more information I can gather and you know facts and involve in it. So, okay, thank you so much, Brian. Doctor E, what could you say to wrap this up? You know, I would share that, again, over 400 million doses have been given in the United States and over 7 billion worldwide. Highly studied, very safe, very effective against COVID and luckily against the, the Delta variant as well. So, you know, we have something in our arsenal to protect our community. And, you know, I'm, I'm encouraging people to really consider it and talk to their doctor if they have specific concerns. Never forget to do that. And Joanne Rupiper of the Southern Nevada Health District, I know you said there's many resources for parents to do their own research. There definitely is. I would really encourage people to do their research. Use credible resource. Uh, the CDC has good websites. Uh, Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, uh, healthy, healthychildren.org, all really good uh, resources with videos and really can give you a really good visual. Thank you so much. Again, thank you to our parents for joining us. We appreciate you sharing your viewpoints. Thank you to our healthcare professionals in the studio. We hope you had some of your questions answered during this time as well. We have to wrap it up. Thank you so much again for participating in our Vax Facts for Kids Town Hall.